called him over because a guest came up, and he was trying to make a point about arming of the Saudis. He was bringing up British government arming the Saudis back after World War One. Just what was your point, though? Go ahead and finish your point, Peter. Uh, Alex, you can hear me, right? Yeah, I sure can. Okay. Uh, the, basically, the, the uh, correspondence has been published. It doesn't indicate that it was special. You know, the, the arming was mostly for <coughs> fighting the Turks, who are not easy, you know, uh, op uh, opponents. But I think that it is possible there were some converts and some crooks. And I mentioned one convert who was the father of Kim Philby, the great turn coat to the Soviet Union. Sure, they call him Arabist. There's a lot of people in the State Department and stuff that end up converting to Islam. Uh, is that what you're getting into? Yeah, he was, his father was a convert to Wahhabism, just as the son was a convert to Marxism-Leninism. And uh, I think there were some more. Uh, Kipling was afraid of that. You could tell in that in that in his one of his novels the light that failed about an artist that anyway you can see the movie in the movie sure sure that's the issue is there's been a lot of saudi arabian infiltration of government i hear you i appreciate your call it's definitely gone on uh the ambassador stevens that got killed in benghazi was an arabist uh, it's, it's really complex stuff the point is is the west isn't just recruiting people it's happening the other way back lance in washington you're on the air go ahead Alex, it's an honor to speak to you today. Uh, you know, people here, just the normal, everyday people that aren't awake, they are military complex, and they think U.S. military. And it's not just the U.S. military. It, it's all the militaries. It's all connected to the globalists. They're the ones that perpetuate all the wars, all the antagonism. It's amazing to me that we still train people on different continents to kill other people legally on different continents on this planet. Yeah, for those that don't know, the military industrial complex, which is multinational, sets the policy and then goes out and trains our enemies so there can be another war. That's their full spectrum dominance and that's what's immoral. Does it mean that our troops going up against Al Qaeda aren't fighting scum who who, you know, I don't cry about getting killed? No. Our troops in many cases, you know, are really hard working, smart people that care passionately. But up above it in the complex, the globalists are running both sides. That is the great evil. That's why Lou Rockwell would say, shut it down, stop offensive war. And uh, I agree with him. But at the same time, I could see where Rand Paul's coming from saying, look, this is out of control. Al-Qaeda's running around. Why did we arm them? Let's take them out. Because Al-Qaeda itself is a real entity and our government helped create it. So the people in our government that did that should be held accountable. I say take out Al-Qaeda, but also arrest the people like Hillary Clinton and the State Department and the folks involved in Benghazi. Stop it. Stop super Machiavellian garbage like this that'll bring everybody down. We as a species aren't going to make it if we have an elite that wants to deindustrialize the Arab world and keep them in squalor by putting the Wahhabist in charge. Do you agree with that, sir? Yes, I do. I, I definitely agree with you. I agree with you. We should be star blazing the stars. We should be trailblazing the stars right now. And, and you know, this earth is a living being. And when it's ready to shed us like the life that we are, it will. There's no telling, Alex, how many civilizations have actually been on this planet and lived here. It's incredible. Yeah. All right. God bless you, brother. We're going to go into overdrive now. Okay. Uh, Tom in California, thanks for holding her on the air. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, the cell phone operates on the same radio frequency spectrum as the human mind. Uh, that's according to Dr. Eldon Bird, who ran the radio, uh, electromagnetic uh, program for the Marine Corps. I knew that. Yeah. The electromagnetic weapons program for the United U.S. Marines. And that's not a coincidence that our cell phones operate on the same electromagnetic spectrum as our minds. And, uh, you know, look, at they're given babies as soon as they're born. They tell me, they told me in the hospital, I can't take my baby out of the hospital. I've had a falling out with one of these globalists. I've had my life threatened. I had somebody come up to me in Ventura, California, telling me, look, they can give you a carcinogen. I now have blood in my urine. I've had, I have a gas, I have a leaking gas tank. Uh, my brother and I both had a falling out with this individual. We both were putting gang stalking programs. I'm 11 Telstar on YouTube. But anyway, but despite all this, and I can't mention any names specifically because they'll just kill me. 
But uh, the point of it is, I had my baby in the hospital. As soon as he was born, they want to give him a, a hearing test. He can't say he can hear. He can't say anything. They said, oh, we just got to hook up this computer to his mind, put these earphones on, and just run some frequencies through his head and everything. And I said... And even if they're not bad, it's that they can put Trojan horse stuff on everything. And there's a DARPA program admitting they use cell phone frequencies to, quote, calm the public during civil emergencies. That was in the Baltimore Sun like 15 years ago. And, and it's just incredible. I appreciate your call. Interesting. Brett in California. Go ahead. Thanks for holding. Uh, hey, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. I uh, really appreciate everything you do. Don't on thank me, thank brother. I appreciate you putting up with me. Go ahead. Okay. All right. My name is uh, our, my name's Brett. I'm 27 years old. And I was actually one of those college graduates that Mr. Rockwell was talking about. I uh, graduated with a worthless degree that didn't take me anywhere. Ended up in a corporation. Um, I excelled really hard at the corporation, moved up the ladder very quickly, but I found myself kind of compartmentalized uh, with uh, the, the learned helplessness all around me, selling products that I just could not stand behind anymore. Anyways, after working like 70, 80 hours a week, making salary that could not keep up with the hours, I, uh, I committed to using marijuana at night to relax and... Um, whenever I left the corporate world, I actually started growing marijuana. So what happened? And uh, so anyways, I wanted to call because I didn't necessarily agree with your point on weaponized marijuana. I think what we have right now is actually the, the cleanest marijuana that we have. All right, well, here's and the deal. I know a lot of people can smoke pot. It helps them, and it's got a lot of medical benefits. I'm not going to get into that, but a lot of people I know, it ruins them. It turns them into zombies, and they're on it all the time, and marijuana is incredibly strong now. And so that was my view, but I hear you. I'm not, look, here's the thing. I'm for decriminalizing it. I don't want to lock people up for it. It doesn't mean I have to endorse it. I mean, I don't like the vibe when I've covered marijuana conferences and stuff, and you've got 10,000 potheads there. I really don't like what it does to women. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just, I mean, that's my personal view. I don't embrace the marijuana culture. That's what I'm saying. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com.